All right guys, uh, this is Jason with FPV Model and today what we're going to do is we're going to give you a look at the new X-Racer F303 flight controller from us here at FPV Model. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a series on this flight controller and show you how uh, show you how to connect everything and set up different features on it. But uh, starting off right now, it seems like uh, we're having a lot of questions with people that are moving over from the NAS32 the first time and they're not real sure how to flash the firmware so uh, what we're going to do today is we're just going to make a short video uh, show you how to uh, take the board flash the firmware and then connect it to clean flight just so you can uh, verify that everything's working so we got the package here and then we've also got a board uh, right here so um, before we do that a couple of things i'd like to mention about this board that are actually uh kind of special, uh, kind of a special design is that we've uh, put in all of these pinouts here and we've got rid of some of the JST connectors that uh, the other flight controllers use. Uh, really, I can't stand those plastic plugs because they seem to fall off, uh, fall off easily whenever you're in, uh, in some moderate crashes. Uh, another thing I'd li also like to mention is we have also put on a 16, uh, 16 megabyte uh, data flash memory here. So uh, this actually doubles up the uh, next comparable model in the terms of size of the flash memory. So if you're a fan of using the black box and stick overlay for some of your videos, uh, this will give you enough storage that you can actually go out and do a full day's recording and run through several batteries and keep all of your all of your files on the uh, data flash for the day. So let's go ahead and start off by first uh, answering some of the questions that we have some people uh, have some people asking us uh, as they're receiving this board. And the number one question so far is, how do I flash the firmware? So we're going to start off today, and let me just go ahead and set up the uh, screen recorder here and get this running so we can go ahead and put it in the video. So uh, first thing right off the bat, uh, we have a push button here for the bootloader. So you don't have to find you don't have to find a jumper or something to uh, try and jump the pins over. You just go ahead and press down on the bootloader button. Once you press down on the bootloader button, plug in the USB cable and you'll see a solid blue light. Uh, now if you see a flashing red light also, you'll want to disconnect the USB cable and press down this bootloader button again because the connection was not, uh, connection was not good enough to jump the pins. So uh, now that we've got this connected and the blue light is on, uh, we'll take a look at the computer and the COM4 port comes up. So it is, uh, is recognizing it. Now if you don't see yours come up, You'll want to come up here and click on the uh, click on the av available ports and just make sure it's connecting properly. So, like I said, ours is COM4 and it came up. So we'll go over here, go ahead and run over to the firmware flasher, and we need to click on this drop-down menu and load a load a hex file for it. And this particular board runs on the SP Racing 3 hex file. So we'll click on the most recent. Uh, the most recent format that is stable and then go down and click load firmware online. Now our internet's a little slow so it will take a moment uh, take a moment to pull up the pull up the file but once it does you will notice in this general area that the SP Racing F3 uh, information will come up. So we'll give this just a moment Okay, and it has came up. So you see here where it says target SP Racing F3. You want to just verify and make sure that you are on the uh, you are on the correct the correct firmware to uh, to put on the board. So here we go. We got Clean Flight SP Racing F3 hex. So the hex file is correct. So now we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and just click on Flash Firmware. So let's go ahead and do that, and we will see the green bar is scrolling across, so it's uh, flashing the firmware onto the board right now. Now once we get to about halfway point, it's going to start to verify the file, and then just verifying everything. And here we go. The programming is successful. 
you see the red light come on and then we'll go over here and click connect so let's connect through and it's opened up into clean flight and you can see it's reading the board uh, right now it's a little slow so let's go ahead and just calibrate the accelerometer lay it down on a uh, flat level surface and keep it steady and then click calibrate and calibration's already finished and now you can see that it's uh, reading the board and just to verify that everything is working let's go to over here to motors and just make sure that we're getting the proper readouts here so looks good let's hold it back down flat and steady and see that the acceler accelerometer there is uh, realizing that it's being held steady so let's go ahead and disconnect and this is how you flash the board so once you've done this hopefully you guys will uh, come back out and check out the other series because we're going to make a few more videos showing uh, how to do several different things such as connecting the s bus uh, setting up different features on the board and we're also going to go ahead and uh, hook it up to a quad and show you some other things that you can do with it so uh, if you have any questions about flashing the firmware I think it's all pretty basic but if you have any other questions please just uh, leave us a message here in the video or send myself a message to Jason at fpvmodel.com thank you for watching